Sure you're all right after your little one-man crusade? Huh? Uh, I guess. I mean, I feel okay for now. How unlike you to worry about Carol, Rita. It's not that I'm worried about him, I... We can't show up with injuries when we're going to rescue a princess who has to heal everybody. Yeah, that's what I meant. If you say so. You'll be gone soon enough. Could you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy on them. Oh, Caprice, they're gonna cut water! That's no good! Let them attack! Oh, dear, this modest land! That's over. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Uh, uh, now my play. Uh, Incandescent focus. So was that okay? Beautiful. Now that's teamwork! I'm
There sure are a lot of people here. They're refugees from the capital. See how they're all well-dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <sighs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay at all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I swear. Yuri. Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go to the inn so that Carol can rest. It's actually nice to be back. Oh. It all started with trying to recover that aquablastia. Couldn't have guessed then we'd be heading out on a trip that spanned the globe. <coughs> Don't worry, Rapide. I'm the same guy now that I was then. It isn't me. It's the situation that's changed. Yeah. It's just a new set of circumstances. And welcome to Denebola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming, thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. <sighs> then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely, yes? You son of a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. Come again. What?! I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is... Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. They're gonna be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs, in front. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei's gonna perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. Who cares about Alexei? Estelle, I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better. So we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's got to look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. I'm so glad you were all safe. Huh. You did this, right? Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? 
And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are? There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. The capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? The this is that turncoat Alexei's doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. Alexei? That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then, we all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could. You must understand. Oh, yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. His Highness is. It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. And the one in the middle of it all is most likely. That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then... Oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... What if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Uh... Hmm... Hey, what about the Knights? Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm... I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. <sighs> Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah. I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is going to rescue Estelle! I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this. Right? And nothing more? I'm going to go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. Yuri! What's with a long face? You don't need to worry about me. <sighs> a job nobody wants to do.
Are you going out alone? I don't think that's any of your highness's concern. I want to know how things are in the lower quarter, so I'm just going to go take a look. The Council has decided to bring formal charges of criminal conspiracy against Alexei. The Knights are currently forming a strategy for re-entering the capital from Dayton Hold. With all that air in the city? <laughs> I doubt they'll get very far. Estelis is with Alexei, isn't she? How did... So you caught on, huh? I wondered why you didn't bring her up earlier. What do you intend to do about her? What do you mean? All those who carry the Imperial blood possess a certain power. In most of us, it is too faint to be of use, but I have heard that hers is extraordinary. I'm sure it was for this reason that the Council threw their support behind her. Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this current disaster being caused by her power? So what if it is? The Knights may have to... You are aware that defeating Alexei may not be enough. That's not going to happen. Because you'll do it yourself? Flynn told me about you, that you always try to carry far too much on your own shoulders. You can tell him that we'll be just fine without the help. But why? I thought I told you this isn't your concern. That sword... Perhaps you are just the person it was waiting for. Keep talking, and I'll try it out on you. Forgive me.